Hey guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to the Queen Mary Dark Harbor for the first ever time. I'm I always say that in the beginning of my videos. Um, so let me not do that no more. So this is my first time ever going to the Dark Harbor Queen Mary ship. And oh my god, I am so nervous. I'm not sure if I'll for sure post this video. If you guys see this, then that's a good sign because well, let me tell you why I don't think I'll be able to post this video. But the reason is, is because it said on the waiver, I think, that we can't record. A little bummed out about that. So, uh, but if you can see this video, then that means I was able to record. But I'm not going to bring my camera just in case I have to put it back in my car. And I like, think we have to park down ways. And then we're going to take the tram to the boat or to the ship. But I don't want to like, you know, obviously, I'm not going to take the tram back. That's going to be too much hassle. So. I'm just gonna be recording on my phone, which is okay, I guess. The time is currently 3.40, and I believe we have to be there at 6 or 7. No, I think we have to be there at 6. It starts at 7. But we're gonna leave at like 4, because I think we're gonna eat before. So, let me show you my little fit. Shirt, I got it from Horror Nights. It's Halloween Horror Nights 2022, I believe. And then my jeans, which I wore at Horror Nights. <laughs> Slay. But look at what happened at like, well it started at 10.30 but she gave birth at like midnight or like 1. She was like in labor at like 10.30, is that what it's called? You know, like when they're like getting ready. I don't know. <laughs> I'm surprised there's white ones. That's crazy. Me, my mom, and siblings were so excited once we found out that there was a white one. Because first, like, two black ones came out. And then we're like, obviously, she's not going to have, like, a white one. Because, like, we, like, want a white cat because we think they're adorable. They give rich cat, you know? Like this, for example. And then it was, like, late at night, like, 2.30, 3 a.m. We had her cage in my room, but I couldn't see like inside the little house. I just heard like this gushing sound and I'm like, she probably gave birth to another one. So I turn it to see like, to see her. And then I see a white, like a white cat. And I'm like, oh my God. I turned my head real quick because I thought it was like the water bag or something. And I'm like, don't tell me it's a white cat. And then I look slowly and I'm like, oh my God. And then I ran to the garage to go get my mom. And then she didn't believe me at first. She was like, no. No way. And, I'm, and then I told her, it's probably just a water bag. And she's like, yeah, it probably is. So she came to my room and she looked and she got all excited and happy. So, so freaking happy about that. There's not one white cat, there's two. So we're gonna get rid of, not rid of, that sounds bad. We're gonna give away the other cats um, because we literally have 13 cats, like four cats and like seven, eight kittens. At first we started with zero, literally just like last year or the year before. Now we have like 13 cats. Yeah, like I said, I won't be bringing my camera just because I don't want to risk having to take it back to my car and like we have to take the tram back. It's going to be a whole hassle, so I'm just going to be recording with my phone. So I'll see you guys on my phone once we're about to leave. the cruise this is where we land Nice to meet oh you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you, guys. Oh my God. Can you my legs? We were just.
Po. <laughs> I'm breathing the same air as Phase Row. He knows I exist. I'm not just a nobody. Mom, don't scream. You scare me. I'm glad I didn't bring my camera because I'm afraid I might drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's all good.
that way. <laughs>
Oh. Hey guys, I am so tired. The time is currently 4 in the morning. Yeah, the reason why I'm up this late is because literally for the past 4 hours, not all the way straight, I've taken breaks here and there and whatnot. But I've been like working out like after I ate and everything. Um, we got home like at 12.30. So like I ate for like 30 minutes and then I've just been like working out. When I tell you, I'm so freaking happy. I didn't even tell you in the beginning of this video. Just because I was like kind of in a rush. 
but also I didn't know if I was for sure gonna like post this video but I am now because apparently I was able to record so and I was able to bring my camera probably um so I think like they only said that because no flash photography is allowed um but you could like record and everything I just like thought like they're strict about like the no recording but yeah I'm glad I didn't bring the camera just because I don't want to risk dropping it again so but I didn't tell you in the beginning, going to the Queen Mary was really last minute. We decided, my mom texted me because I was in my room getting ready to sleep, not thinking that we're going to the Queen Mary today. She texted me at like freaking... And yesterday, we went to, me and my brother went to Disneyland. That's going to be in a separate vlog. So when I got home, she texted me at like 1.52 a.m. Um, saying, do you want to go to the Queen Mary with us? You drive though. And I was like, yeah. I've always wanted to go to the Queen Mary. So yeah, I just said, yeah, nothing, anything was gonna happen. But, oh yeah, what I was going to say. Ever since I went to Horror Nights, October, not October, September 5th. If you guys watched my Horror Nights vlog, then you guys know. But the only maze I wasn't able to go on was the Terror Tram. And I'm so freaking mad because that was the one I was most excited for. But we decided to save that one for last just because that is the shortest line to like, we're like, let's save that one for last. And they freaking closed on us. Like literally 30 minutes before we got a chance to go on it, it was like now closed. So that's why I wanted to go to Horror Nights again, was just to go in that maze. But then literally just like yesterday, I told my mom that I don't want to go to Horror Nights just because I don't feel like paying $300 because I was going to pay for me, my mom, and my stepdad um, just because it was my idea. I'm the reason why I wanted to go to Horror Nights. That's what I was going to pay. But yeah, but I was like... I cannot do that right now just because I need to pay off my credit card. So I'm like, there will be a next time. Maybe at the end of this month. I don't know. Um, but yeah, literally yesterday I was like, I don't think I want to go to Horror Nights no more. So then, yeah, I told her. And then she's like, okay. Um, and then hours later, she's like, do you want to go to Queen Mary? And I'm like, yeah, but we decided to go to um, next, what's it called? Queen Mary. Very last minute. I'm so freaking happy. That was a freaking long story for no reason. But... I'm so freaking happy because we met freaking Faze Rug, not expecting it at all. This is my first time ever meeting Faze Rug like one on one. I've been to every single one of his meet and greets, but never got a chance to get a like actual picture like with him, with him looking at my screen, with me talking with him. You know, like a one on one picture. Because like literally at his meet and greets, every single one of his subscribers shows up. It feels like 20 million subscribers. 20 million of his subscribers show up because it's like so crowded and it's so packed and like people sleep overnight and it's just crazy so i'm just freaking happy that i got a picture with him and there's like me and my mom were just saying she still says this if you guys watch my kane brown vlog i think i said it in there i don't know but she kept saying for the kane brown concert she was like that's the best day ever still to this day she's saying kane brown concert is like the best day ever but now since we met for she's like this is the best day ever because she also is a fan of him um she like watched his video from the very start to all the way to the like now that's called a true fan i believe but me and my mom were just saying how like there's like a lot of what if imagine this oh before you met him like literally i could um the clip after i showed the snacks literally i could you not like right after i turned off the camera or like the phone after like i showed you guys what we're like snacking on we literally said or i said i think yeah, I think I said, imagine Faze Rug is here or imagine Faze Rug comes because we know like he likes haunted stuff or like he does like a lot of haunted stuff. So like imagine Faze Rug is here. We're just saying that as a joke kind of because every time we go somewhere, he doesn't go. But then literally right once we leave, he goes the next day after us. So that's what like we're just kind of joking. But like we really wanted him to be there. And then we're just saying, what if Faze Rug is here five minutes later? It's so funny because my stepdad was the one that spotted him first. He doesn't even like him. He doesn't really know him that much. Because we're in line. And then he was, I was on my phone. My mom, I think, was on her phone too. And then he was like, isn't that face rug? And then my, well, I didn't hear him say that. But my mom was like, that is face rug. And then I just look up, not thinking it was actually going to be them. Because she always thinks someone like looks like face rug. And I just look up. I didn't think. I didn't hesitate. I didn't say mom come let's go i just left out the line and ran to him that's what i did i wish i recorded that part but i just had to like leave the line because i was scared like he might have securities with him or something and then like they'll be like no pictures right now no pictures so that's i just like dashed but like i was saying there's so many ifs um there's like imagine or like not ifs 
but like imagine i don't know what how do you say it but like basically me and my mom are just saying right now imagine like imagine we went to horror nights instead imagine we never because i think they like just decided last minute to go to like the queen mary just because like we weren't going to horror nights we were probably just gonna stay home imagine we went to horror nights imagine we didn't like get the tickets for the queen mary today because we were like planning to eat before we went to the queen mary but then we we're like let's just go to the queen mary first to see what's around there because we thought there were gonna be like little restaurants around there but like everything was like far walking distance so like we we're just like let's go online instead so good thing we went online instead and good thing we didn't eat and also a good thing because the reason why phase Roy walk past us is because he had to go to the restroom because there's like these porta potties like kind of down a little bit there was like no camera i think the cameraman was somewhere else noah was with them but like i think someone else was recording maybe noah was in the video i don't know but yeah i think he like went to the bathroom or something like imagine he didn't have to go to the bathroom my stepdad didn't see him um i'm just so thankful there's like it was like oh my god that's so crazy like it's like it's meant to be for us just imagine there's like so many things to imagine imagine this imagine that imagine this oh and also i talked to him a little bit i did record it as you guys seen i just wish i recorded it a little better i just got like sh sh what's it called struck struck you know what i mean right um i was just like shocked but like i basically told him i was like we went to every single one of your main creeds but never got a chance to actually meet you and he was like, I forgot what he said. I just like literally blanked out. I don't remember what he said. I just remember looking into his eyes. <laughs> this kind of kind of cringe, I know. Um, oh my god, I love his eye color. Like you can't really pick it up like in like his videos, but like his eyes are like so green. I mean, you can see like it's green in his videos, but like it's like so green. And he touched me. He knows I exist. We were breathing the same air. Why am I acting like he's like a big, big celebrity? He's not like big, big, but he's big, you know? I feel like there's like a lot more to say to you. That's why I need to start a podcast. Because there's like so many things. Like, you know Natalie Cuevas? Like, there's like so many things that go on in her videos. But like, she doesn't say it in her video. She makes her videos so like aesthetic. And like me, I'm like talking. This should just be a podcast at this point. Oh, but anyways, let's talk about like the actual queen mary it was actually really fun not i mean i love how i was, I was gonna say it's not as scary but i did scream i mean it was scary what am i saying um especially the last one i just don't like how like or actually i do like it because it does make it a little bit more scarier but like i like how like they like kind of like follow us you know like i feel like at horror nights they just stay in this little room and like they don't they don't really like look at you you know what i mean i don't know if that made any sense but i definitely recommend going to the queen mary but yeah my first experience went well the only thing that i wish i could change is probably maybe next time i just just like you know like buy those like green light cameras that you can like see in the dark that'll be like a w video maybe next year i should get that <laughs> but next time i want to stay at the like ship i think that that's what face Rogue was doing he didn't actually go to the queen mary he like was on the ship and i think i did see him on like top of the ship i'm not 100 sure it kind of looked like him i'm not too sure because it was too dark but anyways next time i want to stay on the ship in that room that like you know the haunted one the whole ship was haunted but you know that one room anyways i'm getting scared i'm in my room it's like dark kind of scared okay let me turn my light this way um, I was getting kind of scared. I'm happy to say that he now knows I exist. I wanted to tell him I want to be in his, like, you know, like, he does, like, the last of Scream videos. I want to be in his video so bad, even though I'll be the first one out. But, like, still, I just want to be a part of his video. I don't care if I'm the first one out. I just want to be a part of his video so bad. Try to get Facebook to see this so I could be in his video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below the um, comment down below the clown emojis because i feel like there's a lot of clowns left to right were there only clowns i don't think there was only clowns yeah and also comment down below if you're a fan of face rug because i sure am been a fan for like what seven years finally bro finally 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 okay i'm gonna go to sleep and just dream about it I'm just so happy that i'm a brokey and i couldn't afford horror nights again and i'm so happy that we didn't go out to eat before and i'm so happy that my stepdad has good eyes
I'm so surprised that he's seen them first. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next week's video, whenever that is. Peace, love, and happiness, and stay tuned for an Oscar reform because I go next week. Eek! Bye!